cofactors and coenzymes. The cofactor is a specific molecule that is non-proteinous. It is not built of proteins, but some enzymes need this cofactor to run the biochemical reaction. The cofactors get combined with the enzyme and activate it. This way, it forms the non-proteinous part of the enzyme. Upon binding, the cofactor activates the enzyme or increases its activity. Thus, we can call it the helping molecule because it facilitates the enzyme to carry out the reaction by increasing its activity. Enzyme along with the cofactor tied to it in its active form is known as the hollow enzyme. In contrast, the enzyme in its inactive form without the cofactor is called the apoenzyme. Cofactor molecule could be organic or inorganic. Examples of inorganic cofactors are zinc ion, copper ion, magnesium ion, iron ion, manganese ion, etc. Examples of organic cofactors are NAD, coenzyme A, thiamine pyrophosphate, flavin mononucleotide, tetrahydrofolate, etc. Organic cofactors are further divided into two types, coenzymes and prosthetic groups. A cofactor tightly bound to the enzyme is known as the prosthetic group. The prosthetic group is permanently attached to the enzyme. Examples of prosthetic groups are heme, flavins, biotin, etc. Coenzyme A cofactor loosely tied to the enzyme and may leave it after catalysis is called the coenzyme. Our body mostly extracts coenzymes from vitamins. Examples of coenzyme are NAD, FAD, B vitamins, NADPH, etc. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertaining. Like and share this video if you want to help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.